It is my privilege to guide you through this important gathering where we will engage in thoughtful discourse, negotiation, and collaboration. I extend my heartfelt congratulations to the chosen delegates for this selection. Particularly, this agenda is our first model United Nations that held virtually by the Overseas Indonesian Student Associations Alliance or PPID. Allow me to recognize the presence of Mr. Hamza Asudi Lubis Alsi, Ms. Lifta Avrilia Putri Ashafi, and also Mr. Muhammad Wairal Akbar. Their commitment to international dialogue and peace underscores the significance of our deliberations. Right. This year's theme is addressing rising trade tensions and enhancing fair trade practices underscores the urgency of our discussions. And I encourage each delegate to, to approach the role with delegates, empathy, and also commitment to finding common ground. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our first agenda is singing national anthem and Mars PPID. We kindly request that all attendees refrain from using the microphone during the session. Terima 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our fellow delegates, this agenda will be opened by opening speech from Mr. Hamza Asudi Lubis Alsi as the Overseas Indonesian Student Association Alliance Coordinator. Time is yours. Uh, is my sound clear enough, Mr. Rafida? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Ceremony, for giving me uh, the mic, the microphone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Peace be upon us all, and greetings 24 hours from PPI Dunia. Honorable speakers, chairman, and Mr. Wahidul Akbar, and also Ms. Nipta, and also to the, all of the delegates present on this occasion. And the last, uh, I would like also to thank you to all of the committee who have prepared this first and first and UN by Pepe Dunia very well. Um, directly at the beginning of this speech, allow me to introduce the Overseas Indonesian Student Association Alliance or Pepe Dunia has three important roles. The first is the role of diplomacy. And the second is the development of superior human resources. And the last is empowerment. Since the establishment of the Indonesian Student Association in 1908, including our founding fathers, Bung Hatta, the first vice president of Indonesia, who became the chairman of in the Indonesian Association in 1926 until 1930, played an active role in advocating for the independence of the Indonesian nation. This is what has inspired us, Pepe Dunia, together and also actively contribute to the nation. In 2024, PPI has succeeded in expanding its network to 65 PPI countries, or, or we also call it PPI Negara, as members and approximately there is uh, 120,000 Indonesian students all over the world. And of course, we will continue to maximize this potential to achieve the nation vision and mission in the future, especially in responding to the challenges of the great vision of Golden Indonesia 2045. And also, uh, we also frequently call this uh, PC Indonesia Mas 2045. Continuing stud studies abroad is one of the best choices for us to participate in becoming a global society and broaden our horizons so that when we return to our beloved country, the focus is on building and being useful for the nation and state, of course. And of course, uh, we open our hands and opportunities as wide as possible to all participants to collaborate and unite vision for the better world future. And last but not least, I'd like to thank you to all of the delegates who attend the first model United Nation, this event created by Pepe Dunia, and focus on the WTO, World Trade Organization. And I hope that through this program, many innovative ideas and concrete movements will be created for a good world future. Thank you, and that's from me on behalf. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam 24 jam PPI. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Mr. Hamza Lubis. The next session, we will hear some welcoming speeches from Ms. Lifta Avrilia Putri Ashafi'i as the head of the Public Relations Department. Time is yours. Thank you. Hello, everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. I'm here for a reason, apart from being the head of public relations, also a student abroad who is uh, responsible. When I return to Indonesia, what should I bring? And what kind of impact do I have on society? The thing that makes me sad the most is the many conflicts between countries for the various things such as territorial disputes, um, recognition or Death of asset belonging to other countries, economic or political competition between countries. 
This is has a negative impact on zebra and nozzle victims and causes injustice and inequality. As we see, there are wars between countries such as Israel and Palestine. Palestine is a victim of Israel and America great in matters of trade, economics, territorial and power struggles. And several other factors that lead to war between countries such as Ukraine and Russia, Germany and Russia, or etc. This is, has a negative impact and a lot of that. And therefore, the time we will discuss is about addressing rising threat tensions and enhancing fair threat practices. This is history for all of us because there was the first online model United Nations program by the public relations sector of the Overseas Indonesian Students Associations Alliance. Hopefully, with this model United Nations, the delegates can present the stat policies they have chosen and learn many things from this model United Nations. And the best quote I like from Emma Watson when she spoke at United Nations was, if we don't do it, who? If not now, when? Good luck and thank you. Okay, let's give a plus for Miss for Miss Livta Putri. The next session, we also will hear some welcoming speeches from Mr. Muhammad Wahidul Akbar as member of the Public Relations Department. Time is yours. Hello, everyone. A greeting for 24 hours, meeting greetings, delightful greetings, their honorable delegates, honorable for commits and the SIP of coordinator uh, PPID. Uh, it's an honorable to be appointed as uh, executive chairman in first MUN, even that organized by the public relations sector of the Overseas Indonesian Student Association Alliance. Surely, our goal is to provide a high quality event that promotes Indonesia student performance, both domestically and internationally. The abroad diaspora mimicking the participation of a generation of the nation's offsprings can participate in issue solving in the UN conference room, bringing a big show, a great intelligence and broad insight to the cause of a dignified nation. Everyone, the event that we are holding together today has gone through stages uh, that were passed and faced by great people who are uh, national assets, starting with uh, internal members in the field of public relations, and then and then the open recruitment committee. Those who took part in managing this event are the selected committee was selected as a result of the many applicants from various students from the Indonesian diaspora. Therefore, we are very grateful to all the commits for their enthusiasm and enthusiasm for making the event a success. And we have uh, come to uh, open registration for participants as well as their enthusiasm, which we deserve to appreciate also. Also, we want to uh, say thank very much and a lot that support from the Directorate of International Relations under the auspices of the Overseas Indonesia Students Association Alliance. So on this occasion, everyone, we will do our best to provide an unforgettable experience. So our them is addressing rising trade tensions and enhancing fire trade practices. We hope to the all of uh, delegates will be able to explore the major themes 
that will have a significant impact on their lives in the future because never let uh, fear dictate your future and the last we hope that the event will run smoothly until the end of the day so the last day uh, i say you uh, thanks your for cooperation and have a good conference thank you greetings for uh, 24 hours meeting greetings the lakeful greetings there Honorable Delegate. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Mr. Wahidul Akbar. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, before diving into the main session and discussion, let's capture this amazing moment first. And I kindly request you to open your camera, all of you, in all slides. Okay. And also, I'll give a little bit time to prepare yourself, like tidying your hair or your fail and feel free to explore different angles and poses later okay are you ready i still see um some of you still close your camera i'd like to ask the help to kaka operator could you please help me to capture these pictures in all slides okay let's begin i'll count one two three yeah okay one two three Okay, the next the next slide. One, two, three. Next slide. The last slide, yeah. One, two, three. Okay, thank you so much for all the beautiful and handsome delegates. And uh, before we are also continuing to the main discussion, we also will have a game, a fun game, obviously. It's called Who's the Spy or Who's the Imposter? If you have ever known before from TikTok platform, can you please raise your hand or give some reaction? Who's the spy or who's the imposter from TikTok platform? Have you ever known before? Guys? No? Or yes? No or yes? Can you please um give reaction if you have ever known before? I think there are a lot of clubs or communities that make this game in TikTok platform. Okay, I'll also uh, introduce a brief, yeah, briefly about this game. This is such a trending game in TikTok platform. Like there will be four to five people who play in this game in one session because we will have two sessions at all. And I'll give each one of you a word. Like these four people will be given four words and one, one person will get different word. For example, I give you chili. You will describe that word up to you, both in general or specific. It's up to you. For example, if I give you chili and one of these people will get paprika, for example, or will get onion, then when you're describing that word, you can guess who's the spy or who's is suspicious to be the imposter. Okay. When I give you chili, you can describe it by red or uh, spicy seasoning, condiment, up to you. Okay, you can also describe it more than one word, up to you. Okay, and now I need four people to be volunteers in this session, in the first session. Could you please raise your hand for whom who want to play this game first? Okay, okay, from the country Australia, Kak Muhammad Idris, the first person. The next, okay, Kak Feroza from the South Korea, amazing. Okay, you still need two more, Kak Felix, okay, Kak Felix. One more, be one more person, please. One more person, guys. Okay, from Saudi Arabia. Masya Allah. Ahlan wa sahlan ahi kafi hamza. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll give you from the chat, yeah. Wait. Don't don't lower your hand, cause uh, I don't remember the name. Wait. I'll give you from the chat. Ka Muhammad. Please read my message, yeah. Okay, I'll give the message privately. Okay, so Kak Felix. Kak Kafi. And also Kak Firuza. Okay. Okay. I'll give uh I have given you all the worlds yeah for people 
Please begin from Ka Felix first. Describe it in one word or two words. Human. Yeah. Human. Okay, human. It's too general. Okay, human. So, Kak Feroza, continue it with the word, with the other word. Human. Uh, what? Human. Human. It's the same word with Kak Felix. Yes, the different word. No, Describe. human. Oh, wait, sorry, I can... Woman. 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 Yes. Okay. Ka Kaufi, please. Kitchen. Kitchen, okay. And Ka Muhammad Idris? Uh, partner. Partner, okay. Have you a clue? Do you have a clue who is the imposter? Or we still need a second round? Kak Kafi, can you can you can you guess it who's the imposter? Uh maybe right now is no we can uh go again. Okay, okay, we need the second round, right? Okay, please Ka Feroza. First. Maybe it's like a girl's partner. Girl's partner, okay. So, Kak Felix. Cooking. Cooking, okay. Yeah. Kak Kafi. Um, hero. What? Hero. Hero. Hero? Hero, oh, hero, okay. Hero, and last one, Kak Muhammad Idris. Um, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. This is the last round. Yeah. Kak Felix, please guess the uh, imposter. Wait. <laughs> wait. Wait. I think it's. <laughs> wait. Wait. It's okay if I just mistaken there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. Maybe I choose Australia. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Australia. <laughs> okay, so uh, Ka Kafi, who is the imposter? Yeah, I'm agree with uh, Vietnam. I will choose Australia because uh, like the clue is mm, is not. Uh, yes, okay. I just, okay, Kak Muhammad Idris. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Kak Muhammad Idris. What is your word? I think. South Korea. South Korea, okay. But what your word? What what your word? Wife. What is your word? Wife. Wife. Yeah. <laughs> You're wrong. The imposter is Ka... Ka Kafi. You are the one who is the imposter. Because you got... What is your word, Ka Kafi? <laughs> what is your word, Ka Kafi? Uh, mom. Mom, okay. Mom, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. Okay, <laughs> give a plus for this round. We'll still need one more round for the second session. Who wants to play? Please raise your hand. Okay, for the second session, please. You have seen your friends. Okay, Kak Zaki from Japan. Good. Kak Nabila from Argentina. Two more. Two more people. Okay. From Thailand. Kak Muhammad. And one more person. Please. Maybe from Russia. Or from Brazil. Okay. From Bangladesh, for example. Kak Nadia, do you want to play the game? Okay, still still need one person, guys. Or two. It's okay if two. Okay, maybe from the commites. 
who want to play the game from the comments. Ka Anissa, do you want to play the game? Okay, we still need one person. Hey guys, one person, one one more. Ka Hafiz, do you want to play the game? Ka Hafiz. Sure, sure. I can. I can play. Sure. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay, we have four people. Yeah, I'll give the word from the chat. Wait. I'll chat you. Okay. Also from Brazil, yeah. Okay. I have this. All right. All right. Have you read my message? Okay. Okay. So let's play the game. It's the game from Kak Nabila. Please. It tastes sweet. Okay, sweet. It tastes sweet, yeah? The first word. Okay, next, Ka Zaki. Uh, I think it's delicious. Delicious. Sweet and delicious. Okay. Ka Hafiz? Summer. 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 Okay, summer. Okay. So, Ka Muhammad from Thailand, what is your word? Wait. Where is Kak Muhammad? Is he here? Kak Muhammad, are you there? Okay, I think I think the his connection is trouble. So I'll give the word to Kak Anissa, ya. Yeah? Kak Anissa, I give the word to you. Okay, can you read my message, Kak Anissa? Yes, I can. Yeah, please give, describe it in uh, one yogurt word. Yogurt is... Oh my God. <laughs> Will you tell the word, Kak Anissa? Okay. Four. Okay. Okay, it's felt, yeah? Okay, then... Uh... The word the imposter is actually Ka Anissa. It's yogurt, but but she dis but she tell the world. Okay, it's okay. All right, that's all for our game session today, guys. Thank you for participating the uh, this game. And now I hand over the session to our esteemed chair and co-chair, Mr. Muhammad Rafi Aurelia and Miss Safira Ananda. Time is yours. Okay, thank you very much, um, Kakira. So, hello everyone, greetings, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. However, for Indonesia, it's good afternoon or since the evening. Before we begin, for the main conference, we would like to introduce ourselves first. And I think Shafira has already turned on her camera right now. Okay, uh, hello delegates, uh, welcome to PBIDMUN 2024, and we are welcoming you to our first MUN in PBID. My name is Rafi Aurelian, or you can call me by Rafi. Currently, I'm a student, second year student, go to trip in the University of Indonesia, and I will be your chair. Will be your and Shafira. Uh, you could introduce yourself first as well. Shafira. Um, good, day, good day, everyone. I'm Shafira Ananda, and I'm currently a second year student in Sunatan University, China, and I'll also be your I'll be your co-chair today. Uh, best of luck for everyone. Okay. Thank you uh, for the introduction, Shafira. So now we we noticed that uh, some of you still beginners and, and several of you as well are experienced in MUN. However, this MUN, it's for both. And we are encouraged you to be active and engage with so much fruitful debate, especially in the conference itself until the last uh, comedy sessions, which is the fifth comedy sessions. And for now, uh, since Yesterday, you have been taught about MUN 101 and technical committee about uh, the MUN itself. 
we will not going to see repeat or retreat again. For now, we want just to have jump on to the conference and we hope that you guys or delegates or we could understand, especially the run and also the flow of the conference itself. If you need any questions or guidance, just ask directly to the chairs by using raise hand feature and just as point of information and ask the direct questions that you are being questioned. So, okay, before we begin, uh, do you see my screen on here? Uh, Shakira, do you see my screen? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, delegates, uh, once again, welcome. We firstly, we would like to have a roll call. Basically, a roll call is like a attend filling attendance, which uh, whether you are attend or where you are not attend to this conference. However, in this MUN, you should say whether you are present or present voting. Both of them have different meaning. However, uh, we just going to jump on, on the President, President of Voting, and Roll Call Cross Rules. Uh, please delegate if you are being called by your country name, just say where you are present or present in voting. For present, it means that in voting procedure, in the future voting procedure, you are able to abstain and have uh, options to have yes or no, uh, yes or no options. However, it's very different for present and voting options because Present voting means that you cannot abstain, but you just have vote yes or no options. I hope you are, I hope you understand what I'm saying. And however, you just have to jump on for a roll call. And please, once again, delegate, if you are being called by your country name, please state where you are present or present voting. Okay, delegate of Italy. Delegate of Italy, 21, 22. Thank you very much. Delegate of Malaysia. Delegate of Malaysia, calling one, calling twice, calling twice, not here. Delegate of Qatar. Calling one, calling twice, not here. Delegate of UK. Calling one, calling twice, not here. Delegate of Thailand. Point once, point twice, point twice, not here. Delegate of Egypt. Point once, point twice, point twice, not here. Delegate of Argentina. The delegate of Argentina is present and voting. Thank you very much. Delegate of Nigeria. Point once, point twice, point twice, not here. Delegate of New Zealand. Point once, point twice, point twice, not here. Delegate of Switzerland. Not here. Delegate of Vietnam. The, the Republic of Vietnam present and voting. Thank you. Thank you very much. Delegate of Vietnam. Delegate of Kenya. Delegate of Kenya. Calling once, calling twice, calling twice. Not here. Delegate of Bangladesh. From Bangladesh is. Thank you, delegates. Delegate of Singapore. Delegate of Singapore, calling once, one size, one size, not here. Delegate of Turkey. Calling once, one size, not here. Delegate of Saudi Arabia. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, present and voting. Thank you very much. Delegate of South Korea. Not here, Delegate of Canada. Not here, Delegate of Australia. Australia, present and 14. Thank you very much, Delegate of Australia. Delegate of Mexico. Delegate of Mexico. Not here, Delegate of Indonesia. Delegate of Indonesia, not here, Delegate of South Africa. 
delegate of South Africa, not here, but of Brazil. The delegate of Federative Republic of Brazil, President and voting. President and voting. Thank you. Of Brazil, delegate of Russia. The delegate of Russian Federation is present and voting. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much. Delegate of India. Delegate of India, not here. Delegate of Japan. Delegation of Japan is present and voting. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much. Delegate of China. China present and voting. Thank you. Thank you very much. Delegate of United States of America. The delegate of U.S. One one's going twice. Not here. Uh, wait, sorry, brother. Can I change my position? Thailand, the Kingdom of Thailand. Okay. Um. Absent and sorry. Okay, delegate of Thailand. Uh. Sorry, is it not President voting. President voting. Delegate of Thailand. President voting. Thank you very much. Delegate of Malaysia. Present. And okay, thank you very much. Are there any delegates who are not being polled yet? Once again, are there any delegates who are not being polled yet? Calling once, calling twice, calling thrice. With a total present 12 delegates, we must have at least six of personal threshold to pass a motions and two thirds of majority of eight delegates to pass a draft resolutions. Okay, for now, before we begin, we'd like to to urge one and only motions to open the debate. So is there any delegate who would like to raise a motion to open the debate? Thank you very much, delegate of Russia. Okay, thank you, Chair. Okay, the delegate of Russia would like to propose a motion to open the debate. Thank you. Under Chair discussions, this motion passed. We are now moved to GSL. For delegate want to be added in general speaker list, please raise your hand. Uh, delegate of Russia, would you have any point on the floor? Guess your hand. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, delegate of Japan, do you have any point? Uh, yeah. uh, sorry. Sorry, do you have any point, delegate of Vietnam or delegate of Japan? Do you have any point on the floor before we move on to general second list? Yes, we from the delegate of Japan we have points. So can we amend the time for the general speaker list into six uh, ninety seconds? Okay, thank you very much for the concerns. Okay, everyone, please put down your hand. Thank you very much. Now for the default time of general speaker list. It's one and a half minute. If you want to change the time to one minute or two minutes, please raise your hand and state the motions. Is there any time changes in general speaker list to two minute or one minute? If none, we are going to have automatically to the default time only for one and a half minutes or 90 seconds. And for now, please delegate, don't put your hands up now. If you are want to be added in the general speaker list, please raise your hand high and firm now. Delegate of Russia, thank you very much. Delegate of Brazil. If you have been called, please lower your hand down. Delegate of China. Delegate of Japan. Delegate of Argentina. Delegate of Australia. Delegate of Vietnam. Is there any other delegate want to be added in GSL? Once again, is there any other delegate want to be added in GSL? If 
If none, under chair discussions, we would like to, to have two more delegates, sorry, three more delegates to talk in general speak list. We would like to call out delegate of Thailand, delegate of Malaysia, and the delegate of Saudi Arabia. For this occasion, we are going to entertain time delegates. And for the first speaker who will speak in this general speaker list is delegate of Russia. Delegate of Russia, you could have the floor when you're ready. So. Okay, thank you to the honorable chair and distinguished delegate. The Russian Federation recognizes the pivotal role of free trade agreements in fostering economic cooperation. Yet we acknowledge their complexity amid geopolitical conflicts these agreements mean to boost prosperity can unintentionally overlap with existing tensions. Therefore, this issue requiring careful consideration. In navigating these challenges, Russia emphasizes the importance of mutual respect among nations. We assert the economic partnership must be aligned with principles of sovereignty and territorial integrity of the other countries particularly in conflict-prone regions. As we deliberate on this issue, let's collecti collectively explore avenues that reconcile economic cooperation with geopolitical realities, fostering stability and harmony. The Russian Federation stands committed to constructive engagement and looks forward to purple discussion. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much. How would you like to, you to yield your time? Yeah. Uh, time back to the chair. Thank, thank you, you chair. Much. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, delegate of Russia, and next delegate from to speak is delegate of Brazil. Delegate of Brazil, you can you can start to speak when you're ready. Your Excellency Chairboard, thank you for giving us the recognition. So we ask the delegation of Federative Republic of Brazil right now, as we stand with the agenda item in this World Trade Organization Committee. First of all, we would like to. Uh, thank in advance to the all distinguished delegates who uh, make their contribution in this conference. So, first of all, as our agenda item in this World Trade Organization meeting, such as a geopolitical conflict, the free trade agreements and their challenges in World Trade Organization. So, first of all, as a, a Federative Republic of Brazil, so we think that the first thing that we should uh, address now, for first, we should now the obstacles and the challenges in also in national in regional and in overseas trade uh, stuffs. So after we can uh, now the the obstacles and the challenges in international trade and also in uh, for free trade agreements. So after that, we can take a further step and we can take um, more and uh, uh, further steps to make the trade in the national, in regional, and also in international can be suitable for all of the nation. Also, right now, we would like also to address the ongoing conflict in Middle East, such as an Israel and Palestinian conflict, and also between Russia, between Russian Federation and the Ukraine. So this this all for our right now general speaker list. Thank you, Chairboard again. Thank you very much. Your time has elapsed. And next, what to speak is the light of China. Light of China, the floor is yours. Thank you, Chairs. Honorable Chairs, estimate delegate. In a world increasingly marked by geopolitical tensions and economic complexities, the role of the WTO as a guardian of fair and transparent trade practices becomes ever more crucial. China firmly believes that free trade agreement, uh, when crafted and implemented in accordance with WTO rules, can foster economic growth, promote international cooperation, and mitigate geopolitical conflict. The WTO provides a vital platform for resolving disputes, facilitating negotiation, and ensuring that all member states, regardless of size or economic power, have equal opportunities and protections under global trade regulation. However, challenges persist. Geopolitical tensions can strain the delicate fabric of international trade agreements, threatening to undermine the very foundations of economic cooperation that the WTO uploads. As a major global player and one of the largest economies, economies in the world, 
China recognized its responsibility to contribute positively to the resolution of these challenges. We must collectively address issues such as tariff escalations, non-tariff barriers, and the impact of unilateral trade actions. Thank you. Thank you very much for speech. Next delegate to speak is that of Japan for serves. Thank you, Chair. So this is the delegate of Japan. A delegate of Japan speaking, Konnichiwa. We, the delegate of Japan, honored to address the critical issue of the free trade agreements and their challenges. Japan, as a leading global economy, deeply understands the importance of FTA in fostering economic growth, innovation, and regional stability. FTA reduces the trade barrier, promote investment, and ensure that our business, especially our national business, in technology and manufacturing remain competitive in the global sector, not only in Japan, but in all over the country. However, we face a significant challenges, geopolitical tension, particularly between the major power create uncertainties that can disrupt trade flows and economic stability. The rise of the protectionism creates the very principle free and fair trade, undermining the multilateral trading system that the World Trade Organization tries to uphold. Yeah, and we, the delegate of Japan, remains committed to addressing these challenges by advocating for a rule-based international trade system. We foster regional cooperation and we promoting innovation through high standard trade agreement. By working together, we, the delegate of Japan, calling to all delegates that we must and we must tackle this issue together. So let's collaborate. Thank you, Chair. Okay, thank you very much for the opportunity. Next up, we'll just make a slide of Argentina. So, Argentina, the floor is yours. Thank you, Honorable Chair and Distinguished Delegates, for the time on the opportunity. Hola, Todas. The Argentine Republic, as a member of World Trade Organization, or WTO, recognizes the importance of multilateral trade agreements in promoting global economic cooperation and stability. The WTO's role says the system has played a crucial role in reducing tariffs. Eliminating trade barriers and facilitating the free flow of goods and services across borders. The, this multilateral approach has fostered economic growth, created jobs, and left millions out of poverty around the world. However, the proliferation of preferential trade agreements or PTAs in recent decades has raised concerns about the erosion of multilateral rules and the potential trade conflict. PTAs, which typically involve bilateral or plurilateral trade deals between a limited number of countries, can create complex web of overlapping regulation and prevalence. This can distort global trade patterns, undermine the WTO's principle of non-discrimination, and lead to trade tariff diversion and trade tension. In this statement, Argentine, the delegates of Argentine proposed a comprehensive approach to address the challenges posed by PTAs and promote a more inclusive and sustainable trade system. This may involve strengthening the WTO's monitoring and dispute settlement mechanism, enhancing transparency and consultation processes, and ensuring the PTAs are fully aligned with the multilateral trust rules and principles. That's all for the Argentine Republic. We will time back to the chair. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Delegate of Argentina. Next up, Delegate who will speak as Delegate of Australia. Delegate of Australia, the floor is yours. Okay, Honorable Chair and Delegate of the entire country, a member state. Okay, uh, Australia is uh, the Commonwealth of Australia strongly advocate for the principle of free trade and believe in the significant benefits that free trade agreement, FTA, over the first worrying economic growth, development and cooperation among member states in the context of the World Trade Organization, VTA are crucial in eliminating trade barriers and promoting fair competition. Austria looks forward to discuss about the discrimination. Let's make the world without discrimination. Australia believes that discrimination is the against uh, the surface supplier. So, uh, Australian uh, have a preparing to eliminate some substantial all discrimination against surf service supplier from members country. The elimination of discrimination against uh, service supplier is crucial for boosting uh, trade in service. Uh, we Australian have a deed the sum uh, of a 
agreement with the Singapore with the Japan what that uh, that will make the discrimination is disappear from uh, this world thank you sir Next, I will just put the of Vietnam, dialect of Vietnam. So, speak on your own. Check, check. Am I audible? Thank you, Chair, for this. From the Republic of Vietnam, we really believe as the all the member of World Trade Organization, we must know every of kind, any kind of the geopolitical political conflict will be really damaging the supply chains of the all global community. One of most impacting things are from the petroleum or the oil, and the next product is got the indirectly things such as such as agricultural product and etc. The things that we need to know in here, the sanction sometimes is not that good for our if we really want to care about the chain supply of in every world. So if we really want to win a win-win solution for this World Trade Organization and really things and step ahead and think more creatively and flexible like the bamboo diplomacy of the Vietnam, we really believe we can just solve this geopolitical conflict as the nation of member states of World Trade Organization. So creating more creating more creative and we see a more opportunity ahead to solve and collaborate more in the future to solve more things. Thank you. That's all from me. Back to the chair. Okay, thank you very much for speech. Next up, uh the last speaker who to speak in this GSL, that of Thailand, that of Thailand is the four serves. Uh, thank you, Honorable for Chair and all our country. Uh, the Kingdom of Thailand is committed to working collaboratively with all with your members to address that issue. We believe that through dialogue and cooperative, we can develop policies and that promote sustainable agriculture, ensure market access, and ensure that the benefit of trade are shared equitably among our nations. In conclusion. Thailand reaffirms its dedication to a fair, inclusive international trading system that supports a sustainable agriculture and benefit all stakeholders. Ah. Let us uh, work together to build a full yeah. future of yeah. our farmer and our global community. Thank you. Thank you very much. How would, would you like to yield your time? Uh, no, thank you. Back to the chair? Yes, okay. back time back. Okay, um, thank you very much. So this is just a little bit of notice. However, there are three options if you want to yield back time. First is to the chair. It means that is automatically elapsed. Secondly, to our delegates. And thirdly, to the key and uh, question and answers. That's just a little bit notice. However, since it's just back to the chair, the time automatically elapsed and now, this uh, town will be our last speaker for this GSL for Malaysia and Saudi Arabia. We will be safe for another GSL sessions. And now we are open for motions. In this open for motion sessions, uh, before, sorry, that of Brazil, we, we just allow to entertain moderate caucus only. If you want to have an unmarried caucus or consultation of poll, at least we have to pass at least two more caucus. So after we have two more caucus, we could have a more caucus or a consolidation of the whole. Okay, delegates, is there any motions on the floor? Delegate of Japan. Thank you, Chair. Slowly, the delegate of Japan would like to write a motion for moderated caucus under the topic treated agreement implementation in each country for total time. Uh, 15 minutes and 90 seconds speaking time each delegate. Sorry, delegate, your voice is unclear and low. Okay. Please. Uh, I'm all, I'm all voice clear. Chair. Yeah, your voice is clear. However, your volume is pretty low, so I couldn't hear you well. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait. okay. Could you repeat your motions again? Your topic. Sorry, free trade agreement. Implementation in each country. Implementation in each country. 
like this. Yep. Okay, thank you, of Japan. 15 minutes and 90 seconds spend time. Okay, is there any motions on the floor? Delegate of Brazil. Thank you, Chair Board. The delegate of uh, Federative Republic of Brazil would like to raise a motion in moderated caucus in order to talk about the impact of geopolitical uh, of geopolitical conflict in uh, trade agreements. The total time being um, fifteen minutes, individual speaking time being one and a half minute. Fifteen minutes and one and a half minute. Yeah, that's in order. Thank you very much, delegate of Russia. Okay, the delegate of Russian Federation would like propose motion moderated caucus with total time fifteen minutes in its time speaking one point five minutes with the topic, um, country stances regarding the main topic of the council. Okay, like this. Okay, uh, uh fifteen fifteen minutes and ninety seconds speaking time, the of Russia. Thank you very much. And now we are on the Galate of Russia. You could lower your hand. Sorry, sorry. Okay. And now we are going to vote uh, for only these three motions. And for the first motion that will be voted first is Delegate of Japan's motions about free trade agreement implementation. Each country for 15 minutes and 90 seconds for each speaking time. If you are in favor in this motion, please raise your hand high and firm. At least we have to pass four, six votes required. One, two, three, four. We need two more to pass. Five, six. Okay, this motion passed. Thank you very much. Knight of Japan, would you like to become the first speaker or last speaker? Last, please, Chair. Okay. Before delegate of Japan, we need at least nine, sorry, uh, around eight speakers. Okay. Okay. Before delegate of Japan, if you are willing to, to have be added to this motions, please raise your hand now. Delegate of Brazil. Delegate of Argentina. Delegate of Vietnam. Please delegate if you are being have you have them been called. Lower your hand uh, immediately. Delegate of China. Delegate of Russia. Brazil. Uh, China. You get lower your hand. Uh, Shafira. Sorry. Um, how many speakers if we have 15 minutes and 90 seconds each speaking time. Is it around, sorry. Around eight, around eight. Eight delegates. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. So um, beside Japan, we need at least two more, okay. Thank you, Shafira. Sorry for uh, this service. Okay, uh, Delegate of China, Delegate of Australia, Delegate of China, Delegate of Australia. One more delegate before Delegate of Japan. Is there any other delegate? Eh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, Delegate of Japan. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, it has been for fulfilled for our delegates and delegate of Brazil, uh, delegate of China or delegate of Japan. Do you have any point? Uh, yes, chair. Sure. So the delegate of China is uh, on the list twice on the list. He... Oh. oh, yeah. Sorry, my bad. Okay. Uh, okay. Is there any other delegates wants more delegates want to speak in this motions? Okay, delegate of Malaysia. Thank you very much. Delegate of Malaysia will be speak before Delegate of Japan. Okay, Delegate of, okay, Delegate of Brazil, 
you can have the floor. Your Excellency Chairboard, thank you for giving us recognition. So uh, since our motion right now is in free trade agreement implementation in each country, so we as the Federative Republic of Brazil like to address some point of the implementation of free trade agreement in our country. So first thing to be addressed is the promotion of multilateralism. So we Federative Republic of Brazil, we always promote multilateralism among the countries in regional and in international. The second thing is diversification of trade partners. So uh, as you will know, we in Mercosur, also we as a, a Republic of Brazil, we are right now in a trade agreement with the Russia in a frame of BRICS. And after that, the third point is the regional integration. So as we stated before, we are already in Mercosur. So it's the free trade agreement between country in the region. The fourth thing to be addressed from the Federal Republic of Brazil is the investment in dispute resolution mechanism. And the last is capacity building and technical assistance. So that's why the implementation of free trade agreement, we as the Federal Republic of Brazil, we have an, a commitment to promote and to encourage the other countries to do free trade agreement and diversification of trade partners. Because as the problem now, so that's, that's all for Right now, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Next up, we will speak to the of Argentina. God of Argentina, you have the floor. Thank you, Honorable Chair and Distinguished Delegates for the time and opportunity. Argentina has been actively pursuing the free trade agreement in recent years to boost its economic integration and competitiveness in the global market. For example, in August 2023, Argentina signed a free trade agreement with the European Union after years of negotiations. The agreement eliminates tariffs on most goods trade between Argentina and the EU member states. It will also include the provisions to improve market access for agricultural products, services, and investment. This deal was seen as a major economic win for Argentina as the EU is one of the largest trading partners. Argentina is also a member of Mercosur trade bloc, which includes Brazil, Paraguay, and Uruguay. Mercosur has negotiated several free trade agreements, including with the European Union, EFTA, and Israel. These deals may have helped increase trade and investment flows for Argentina as a part of the Mercosur Group. Additionally, Argentina has bilateral free agreements with a few other countries, such as Chile. These agreements aim to reduce tariffs and facilitate commerce between the signatory nations. The Argentina, the Argentina yield back the time to the chair. Thank you. Thank you very much for the speech. However, there is no yielding time because this is not GSL, this is uh, Smart Caucus. So it automatically elapses if you are have ended your speech. Okay, next up, Delegate of Vietnam. Delegate of Vietnam, you have the floor. Thank you, am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Free threat. Free trade agreement implementation in Republic in Vietnam. During this crisis or this, we're responding the geopolitical conflict with the most wise things. Same with our diplomacy, bamboo diplomacy. When even if there is a geopolitical conflict, Vietnam still maintain with the bilateral trades between Russia, or even we still do a bilateral trade with the Ukraine because we really realize if we are not participating in this kind of trade, the both of them will be really impacting great for international supply chains that will be make another nightmare and another cases at inflation or the rising cost of the oil or, or etc. These things are really concerned of this free trade agreement itself and as the Vietnam Republic we still maintain to do export the agricultural and the fishery product so even if there is a sanction for the Russia we still maintain to make a bilateral trade and this kind of trade is still increasing and it's not disturbed by the geopolitical conflict and the next we still maintain to with the Ukraine we still have our fishery product that will be going well, even if there is a geopolitical conflict. So that's all from me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please delegate. Use your pronouns in uh, your, um, your pronunciations. Whether you are going to have for this delegate, we are delegate of Vietnam. Don't use uh, first person's pronunciations. Okay, thank you very much, delegate of Vietnam. 
uh, for now, delegate next up, delegate of China, delegate of China, you can vote. Thank you, Chair. Free trade agreements are pivotal, pivotal instruments in fostering economic integration and in changing global trade flows. Uh, they promote efficiency, competition, and consumer choice while reducing trade barriers and changing market access. The, active, the effectiveness of free trade agreements heavily depends on the, the commitment of each participating country to honor the obligation and adhere to agreed open rules. The diversity of economic structures and de development stage among countries complicate the implementation process. Development countries may face capacity constraints in implementing complex trade-related reforms, while advanced economies may seek to safeguard sensitive industries. The dynamic nature of global trade requires continuous adaptation and modernization of free trade agreements. Emerging issues such as digital trade, intellectual properties, right, and environmental standards. China recognizes these challenges and remains committed to promoting a rules promoting a rules-based international trading systems that benefits all nations. China advocate China advocated for inclusive and open regional regionalism. Impacing cooperation and integration across borders. Thank you. Much delegates, you, your time has elapsed. And next, we'll just begin start of Russia. The of Russia, you can. Thank you, Chair and distinguished delegate. The Russian Federation acknowledges the integrated dynamics between geopolitical conflicts and free trade agreements. These agreements, pivotal, uh. These agreements pivotal for economic growth, also interact with diverse economic conditions across nations. Russia recognizes the varying economic situations among countries shaped by unique developmental stages, resources, and geopolitical challenges. As we discuss the impact of free trade agreements, it's crucial to consider how these agreements can either exacerbate or alleviate economic disparities and vulnerabilities And um, yeah, Russia, Russian Federation advocates for innovative economic partnership that prioritizes mutual respect and understanding of each nation, uh, of each nation's economic circumstance. Therefore, the delegate of Russian Federation would like to emphasize the important role of cooperation rather than confrontation, so that we can propose for exploring new framework that ensure fair and balanced trade practices, fostering sustainable development and resilience against geopolitical uncertainties. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much. Next up, Delegate of Australia, you can have the floor. Okay, thank you, Chair. Uh, the, the purpose of the Australia is two. The first one is eliminating tariff and other recession of trade in the, between member states. And, and the second one is eliminating discrimination between the member states. Okay, the yeah. first one, uh, we did, uh, Australia did have a uh, several agreement with other other member states, such as the, the with the Japan, with the China, with the Singapore, with the New Zealand. We have a Japan Australia Economic Partnership Agreement, J E E P E, and we have a China Australia Free Trade Agreement, uh, such as uh, Shafta. And we have a Singapore Australian agreement with uh with the SAFTA Singapore Australian Free Trade Agreement, and uh, with the Korea we have a Korea Australia Free Trade Agreement. We have a several agreement, and we uh, and Australia pushing to the all member states to uh to disappear the tariff barrier between us. That is, thank you, Sir. Thank you very much for the speech. Next up, Delegate of Malaysia. Delegate of Malaysia, you can start your speech when you're ready. Thank you, Chair. Um, I want to say about two points uh, about Malaysia. First, uh, context of raising trade tension. 
two is uh, enhancing fair trade practices. In the face of global economic integration, Malaysia, like many nations, um, grapples with the dual challenges of navigation, rising trade tension, and enhancing fair trade practices. Um, in Malaysia, it's strategically positioned in Southeast Asia, acting um, as a vital link in international trade routes. Particularly between the East and the West, the nation economic is heavily de depend on international trade. With the K export, including electronic, petroleum, and palm oil. However, the global trade uh, environment has become increasingly uh, fraught with tension, primarily due uh, to geopolitical complex economic nationalism and protection police um, from major economic like USA and China. Uh, fair trade practices involve achieve a balance where um, international trade in concluded fairly ethnically and sustainability for Malaysia and hedging their practices mean ensuring tra uh, that trade not only contribute to economic growth but also address uh, to ethical standards that protect the environment and the right of workers. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much for the speech. And last week to speak is Dalit of Japan. Dalit of Japan, you can start the speech when you're ready. Thank you, Chair. So thank you for all the delegates that speech before. That yeah, we we know and we realize that the free trade agreement is a crucial thing in our era, in our globalization era. Each delegate have mentioned the positive impact about the free trade agreement. There are investment, there is investment multilateralism yeah. to boost the economy. Have and some delegate uh explain about their diplomacy and some delegate uh have uh mention about the geopolitical issue so we the delegate of japan we want to emphasize that the crucial importance of maintaining and expanding the free trade agreement fta has been instrumental in the opening the doors to the globalization is driving economic growth innovation and mutual prosperity for japan itself this agreement has led to the remarkable benefits our export partner country has increased by six percent annually so location that tangible on our economy. So again, we, the delegate of Japan, we realize that all the delegates in here, we are on the same pages. We are on the same book that we know that this free trade agreement is have a positive impact in our country. So we call to all our delegates, let's make this free trade agreement more positive and we have more robust framework for, for the free trade agreement in this council. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. The time has elapsed and the motions for this topic is already over. And now we are open for another motions on the floor. We still have to pass one more more caucus before we could allow unmarked caucus or consultation of the whole. Okay, delegates, please hold on your hand first. And now, uh, Russia. Please, you're down. Okay, thank you very much. If you are, if you have any motions on the floor, please raise your hand high and firm. Delegate of Russia. Okay, thank you, Chair. So the delegate of Russia would like propose a motion. Um, moderated caucus with total time fifteen minutes. In its time speaking, one point five minutes. Um, with the topic. Identify, uh, identifying the challenges that serve as primary obstacles in free trade agreements. Sorry, can you repeat the question? Uh, the identify. Okay, identify the challenges that serve as primary obstacles in free trade agreements. Okay. Thank you very much. I guess. Identifying the challenges as obstacles in FBA. Um, 50 minutes and nine seconds. That of Russia. That of Brazil. That of Brazil. Thank you, Chair. The delegation of Federative Republic of Brazil would like to raise a motion in moderated caucus in order to talk about the directly impact of geopolitical conflict in free trade agreements. Total time being 15 minutes, individual speaking time being one and a half minutes. 
sorry, impact of geopolitical conflict of in free trade agreements. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, 15 minutes and nine seconds. One and a half. One and a half, nine seconds. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, this is in order. Is there any other motions on the floor? Once again, is there any other motions on the floor? Calling once, calling twice, calling twice. If none, we are going to vote for these two motions. For the first motion, what to be who to be voted is delegate of Russia's motions about identifying the challenges as obstacles in FTA or future agreements for 15, 15 minutes durations and 90 seconds speaking time. If you are in favor in this motion, please raise your hand. Raise your hand high and firm. At least we need six delegates to pass motions, to pass these motions. One, two, three, four, calling once, calling twice, calling thrice. This motion. Okay, five delegates motion still failed. And now we are going to vote for the next motions. For delegates of Brazil's motions about the impact of geopolitical conflict in free trade agreement, if you are in favor of this motion, please raise your hand high and firm. Five, we need one more to pass motions. Six delegate, sorry. Still five? Okay, this motion passed. Thank you very much. Brazil, Do you would you like to become the first speaker or the last speaker? We would like to be a first speaker. Okay, thank you very much. We need at least seven more delegates. If you want to be added in this motion, please raise your hand now. Delegate of South Korea. Oh, sorry. The, the, Sorry, delegate of South Korea. Uh, you are new in here, so we are going back to roll call first. We are very sorry, delegate of Australia. Are you present or present in voting? Uh, sorry, delegate of South Korea. Delegate of South Korea. Yeah, your hand is up. Are you that of South Korea? Hello, delegate of South Korea. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, since you are new in here, we are going back to your roll call to state whether you are present, present voting. So basically, just answers: Are you present or present voting? Thank you, sir. I maybe have one for present voting. So, are you present or present voting? Yes, I present. Okay, so basically, yeah, let me just explain it one more time. So since you are new in here, we have to going back to roll call to uh, to write out your attendance, especially if you are present or present voting. Present is mean that you are being able to vote yes or no. However, you could so also be abstain. However, it's different for present voting. You just have to vote for Yes or no, you couldn't add. You couldn't abstain if you choose for present voting. That's just a little bit note for that of South Korea. Thank you very much. And now we are going to caucus again about the impact of ge geopolitical conflicts. Okay, once again, delegate, please put down your hand now. If you are if you're willing to be added in this motions, please raise your hand high and firm. Delegate of Japan, thank you very much. Delegate of Russia, if you have been called, please uh, load down your hand. Delegate of Vietnam. Delegate of Argentina, at least we, we need at delegates 
now we still need three more delegates. Is there any other delegates want to be added in this terms? Sorry, in these motions. That of Bangladesh. Delegate of China. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more delegate. Delegate of Saudi Arabia. Thank you very much. For delegate of Brazil, you could start speaking when you're ready. Your Excellency Chairboard, thank you for giving us the recognition. So, as since our motion right now is impact of geopolitical conflict in free trade agreements, so we would like to address these issues from two perspectives or two viewpoints. The first viewpoint in geopolitical conflict is in the traders. So, for the traders, there is uncertainty for their businesses and for their trades. So there is uncertainty. And the second things in viewpoint of the traders in the raise of the tariffs. So the tariffs are raised and the traders or the stakeholders that make this trade cannot be able to identify the business. And from the uh, diplomatical viewpoints in World Trade Organization, there is the risk. Uh, we should restrict the, uh, we're sorry, there is the, uh, restrict of the trade so the sanction that given by the country to the numerous country it can be more strict if the geopolitical conflict is not going to be stopped and the second thing is the cooperation it reduces it when geopolitical conflict is going on in those regions so that's why that's two viewpoints the viewpoints from the traders and viewpoints from the diplomacy in the world trade organization thank you Okay, thank you very much for the speech. Next up, the of Japan. Of Japan, you could start when you're ready. Thank you, Chair. This is the delegate of Japan speaking. So we agree there from uh, with the delegate of Brazil that the geopolitical issue will have some impacts in our free trade agreement also. So the uncertainty and the rise of the tariff is a big problem for us. If this geopolitical agreement is continuing until today, I think we think until today, so this geopolitical uh, conflict will bring the free trade agreement into nothing. So that's why we, the delegate of Japan in this council, we promote our solution to this impact of the geopolitical conflict in, uh, uh, in World Trade Organization. So we promote our solution, we call it EDRI, Enhanced Dispute Resolution Initiative. So the WTO have to uh, have some dispute settlement to the conflicted countries. So with this solution, we seek to strengthen the WTO dispute settlement mechanism by increasing the resources, introducing a faster resolution process for urgent cases and providing training for the member of the state. So we hope with that solution, with the Japan solution, we can have some uh, we can have some solution in this geopolitical conflict and we can settle the geopolitical conflict because the geopolitical conflict is not impact to one country, it's impacting to all the nations in our council. So please bear in mind to all the delegates that we must have some dispute settlement in our uh, council. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much. Delta of Japan, next up, Delta of Russia, we have four. Okay, thank you to the Honorable Chair and fellow delegates. The Russian Federation is deeply concerned about the prolonged conflict which have negative impact such as economic sanctions in the form of embargoes which impose by certain Western nations. These actions undermine principles of fair trade and inflict, uh, inflict several economic consequences, not only on Russia but also on developing nations. Such sanctions disrupt global supply chains, distort market dynamics, and hinder economic growth for nations striving to integrate into the global economy. They perpetuate economic instability and hinder investment opportunities, exacerbating global inequalities. As Russia, we advocate for dialogue rather than unilateral measures. We urge all nations to uphold multilateralism and seek diplomatic solution through 
platforms such as the WTO. It's crucial to foster an environment where economic dis disputes are resolved through constructive engagement rather than punitive measures. In conclusion, the Russian Federation calls for a consideration of all of unilateral measures and urge prioritization of inclusive dialogue and cooperation to address global economic challenges. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much. Before um, we move to Vietnam, we just have from the chairs and the committee, we just have a little bit notice and announcements. So basically in round down, we are going to have a little bit break at 5 a.m. However, we are going to have a break at 5.25 past 25 uh, p.m. Um, in the Western South Indonesian time. So basically we still have 30 or 25 minutes to go. After that, we're going to have a break. Sorry, just a little bit notice. Okay, thank you everyone. And for next up is delegate of, sorry, delegate of Argentina. Yeah. Delegate of Argentina. Oh, sorry. Delegate of Vietnam, yeah. Okay, sorry. Sorry, delegate of Vietnam. Check, check. Am, I, am I audible? Yeah, sure. You are audible. Okay. Impact of the political conflict in FDA. We know. The conflict between the Russia and Ukraine, as this, as the Ukraine, we know, member states of Ukraine really have a great impact in the fertilizer that impacting the agricultural process, not only in Vietnam but in Asia, that really depend on the agricultural product. And the second, from the Russia, Russia got the sanction of this conflict, geopolitical conflict, especially banning the international payments that really make the market and the trade, bilateral trade to the Russia got a more small exposure and then it will be really damaging the oil prices and the oil supply of the world and then because of this, oil prices really rising. Our productivity as the country that not importing, that not exporting or not just make our producing our petroleum or oil, we really damaging. Like our price become very high, and then with this price become high, it can be risk uh inflation and it can make our market become more smaller. Because of this impact, we can even if Vietnam economy is really stable, we are really concerned about another country impact because this geopolitical conflict really yeah. our responsibility as member states of what Okay, thank you very much, delegate once again. Your time has elapsed. And now we're going to move for Next delegate to that of Argentina, you have four. Thank you for the time and the opportunity for the honorable chair and distinguished delegates. Before providing the solution, we have to acknowledge the impact of the political conflict issue in our country. Argentina has been navigating a complex geopolitical escape in the recent years, which has had a significant impact on its free trade free FTA. The, the ongoing tensions between the USA and China, as well as the regional political economic shift, have posed challenges for Argentina trade relationships. Overall, the direct impact of geopolitical conflict on Argentina's free trade agreements has been significantly significant, leading to delays, uncertainties, and the need for the country to navigate a complex web of global power dynamics and regional instability. Argentina trade diversification efforts are an attempt to reduce its vulnerability to these external factors and ensure the resilience of its export-oriented economy. The first one is the regional integration challenges. The political econ and economic turmoil in the neighboring countries, such as Brazil and Venezuela, has also impacted the Argentina's regional trade agreements within the Mercosur bloc. The instability in this country has made it more difficult to coordinate and implement regional trade policy, limiting the effectiveness of Mercosur as an integration of mechanism. Two, trade diversification efforts. This effort aims to reduce Argentina resilience on traditional trade partners and mitigate the risk of associated geopolitical tensions in response to the shadows posed by the geopolitical conflict. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Next up, we'll just speak to the delegate of Bangladesh. You can start speaking with. Thank you, Chair. 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 Thank you,
Hey, thank you, Chair. This is the delegates of Bangladesh is speaking. So, uh, geopolitical tensions have always held the power of reshaped landscapes, both political and economic. But their effects on trade agreements are particularly profound in Bangladesh, a country known for its vibrant textile and garment exports. And this uh, agreement not only dictated market access and tariff uh, structures, but also influence investor confidence and supply chain dynamics. However, when geopolitical conflicts arise among our trade partners, the repercussions are keenly felt, and disruptions such as the increased tariffs and mergers are even the renegotiation of existing agreements can destabilize our economy and threaten the life uh, of millions who depend on the export sec uh, sector. So. Uh, therefore, as we navigate the landscape of uncertainty, it becomes imperative for us to foster dialogue, strengthen diplomatic ties, and pursue strategic initiatives that safeguard our economic interests while upholding global peace and stability. Uh, for the other delegates, uh, together let us strive for a future where geopolitical conflicts no longer dictate the terms of our trade agreements. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next up, delegate, this is Hilda we'll speaks Dalit of China. Dalit of China, you can have the floor. Thank you, Chebo. Uh, recent events provide compelling evidence of how geopolitical conflicts can directly impact free trade agreements. For example, the ongoing trade disputes between major economies have led to tit for tat tariffs and retaliatory measures escalating tensions and disrupting global supply chains. Moreover, regional conflicts can lead to hectic protectionism and unilateral action that violate the spirit of cooperative trade agreements. Econo exacerbating economic uncertainties and hindering the growth prospect of all involved parties. China firmly, firmly believe, believes the addressing these challenges requires a concerted effort to upload the rules-based international trading system and strengthen multilateral mechanisms such as WTO by adhering to establish rules and promoting transparent dispute resolution processes. We can mitigate that the that the adverse effects of geopolitical conflicts on FTA. Thank you. Thank you very much. Last thing we to speak is Dalit of Saudi Arabia. Dalit of Saudi Arabia, you have the floor. Thank you, Chair. Uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia recognized that the geopolitical conflict greatly affects free trade agreement. This conflict led to sanction and tariff with disrupt trade and create uncertainty. Uh, this make it hard for countries to benefit from VTA as business and investor are unsure about the future. Geopolitical tension are also uh, demands trust between nations, making it difficult to negotiate and implement VTA uh, efficiently. Uh, without trust, countries cannot fully take advantage of this agreement. Saudi Arabia believes in the importance of cooperation and dia dialogue with the World Trade Organization to solve this problem by making, uh, by working together and following international trade law. We can create a stable environment for VTA. In this, Saudi Arabia is committed to reduction or the impact of geopolitical conflict on VTA and promoting a fair and transparent global trading system. Thank you, Chair. Okay, thank you very much. The time has elapsed and the motion is over. And now we are going back to open for motions. And now we are going to entertain on Murray Caucus. So basically, on Murray Caucus is a session where you you are discuss a topic, certain topic, but not not the same as Murray Caucus. The different for on Murray Caucus itself, you can sp you can speak freely. You can speak to who else, where else, and also just speak directly. The chair will not moderating you and any else. However, there is a time limit. The maximum time limit is 20 minutes for unmarried pockets. So basically like that. 
for our murder case. Yes, David of Japan, do you have any point? Uh, for the unmoderated calculus, do we have a record room for these moderate unmoderated calculus? Okay, sure. Thank you very much. That will be um, yeah, that that will be allowed. A comedy or maybe hosts who are in charge in this Zoom. Can you open breakout room for the delegates? Uh, sorry, comedy or any any participant who holds the Zoom. Okay, we will open it. We will open the breakout room la later. However, we are going to have open for motions first, and if. There is no breakout room. We will use firstly in main room first. After that, we are going to have um, a little bit settings in our Zoom conference so we could enable the breakout room sessions. Okay, is there any motions on the floor? Delegate of Russia. Okay. The delegate of Russia would like to propose a motion and moderated focus with total time 10 minutes. 10 minutes with a pressure. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Once again, uh, the maximum time of armor caucus is 20 minutes. So you could as well. Uh, sorry, since sorry, since the time limit is only we, we are going to have a break in uh five past twenty-five. So the maximum time for now armor caucus is only 15 minutes. Okay, the of Japan. The delegate of Japan would like to raise a motion for unmoderated calculus with the maximum time. Mm -hmm. 15 minutes. Okay, thank you very much. Is there any, any other motions on the floor? Is there any other, other motions on the floor? Calling once, calling twice, calling thrice. If, if none, we're going to have vote for the first motions because of the disruptiveness we are going to vote for Japan's motion first for 15 minutes on our caucus. If you are delegates, if you are in favor of this motion, please raise your hand, raise your hand, high and firm. At least we need seven votes because South Korea has been present and we need seven votes because of it to pass this motions. When it's two more motions, uh, two, two more delegates, one more delegates. One more delegates to pass motions, delegates. Calling once, calling twice, calling thrice, this motion failed. And now we are going to have next motions, 10 minutes, Armored Caucus from Dallas of Russia. If you are in favor in this motion, please raise your hand high and firm. Once again, at least we need seven delegates to pass this motion. This motion pass. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, for the Armored Caucus, we'll start soon. However, comedy is the breakout room sessions could be open. Sorry, comedy or any participant who holds the host or okay, oh, okay, okay. I we think that the comedy is still in the process of recovery session, so we are very sorry. For now, we couldn't open the breakout room. However, you could use the main room, so you could start the discussions and. Now, the Armory Caucus starts now. Thank you. Uh, for, first of all, uh, we would like to thank all delegates for their uh, precious speech and for their uh, pre uh, precious solutions. So, uh, we would like to address some point. That the first is implementations, and the second thing is the impact or direct impact of the geopolitical conflict in several regions to our 
free trade agreements. So for the implementation, uh, we think that we as member states of the World Trade Organization, as we agreed before in 1995 in, in our agreements, so we think that we should implement and we should uh, act those uh, agreements to our trade policies. And secondly, for the direct impact that uh, going in, especially in Middle East and uh, the conflict between Russian Federation and Ukraine. So we think that we should take our position that we should think the long term, long term effects of this economic or this trade agreements. So the multilateralism is not just uh, it's not just for the two years or just for three years, but also for the long term and for sustainability trade agreements. So we can take this responsibility to make a more sustainable and more responsible trade agreements. Thank you. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, thank you, delegate of Brazil. We agree with that to that. Yeah, any delegates in here? So, uh, we uh, we have uh, listened to your speech. Yeah, yeah, from the Thailand, from the Vietnam, from Australia, from the Russia, Brazil, Saudi, Bangladesh, Argentina, China. Yeah, we have some several chats too in. Uh, in Zoom chat, so uh, I think we on the same page that we have some uh, yeah we have some issue on the geopolitical issue, and we want to this trade agreement to be uh, more promoted and more expanded, right? So yeah, I like the the Vietnam speech about the bamboo speed bamboo diplomacy, right? Yeah, <laughs> bamboo diplomacy and the Argentina speech about the bolstering their economy. So I think uh, we have we think that we must have some uh, dispute resolution, uh, dispute settlement. You know, like the ICC and ICG, they the are uh, dispute threshold, uh, dispute settlement for the criminal court, yeah, international criminal court about criminal. So we don't talk about criminal; we are talking about the embargo and anything. So I we hope that this uh, council have to uh, have uh, some dispute settlement. So yeah, any delegate wants to speak more, guys? Okay. So for the dispute settlements, we think that the in dispute settlements, we think that the dialogue is the key of this thing. So that's why the dialogue between the main player of these trade agreements or this economic action that happening in world right now. So we think that the key point is dialogue between this main player in order to make a dispute settlement and in order to implement it with not just as we stated before, not just for the short term or mid term solution, but also for long term solution. So the member state that will make a trade agreements for the trade agreements can make it with their own sovereignty or et cetera, et cetera. But we think that dialogue is the key point. Yeah, we agree. We do get of Japan agree with that, uh, with that uh, solution that, yeah, we must uh, empower and emphasize the, dia the dialogue. So uh, we delegate of Japan uh, is recommend to the WTO, the to our council, to our trade organization, to have some uh, dispute settlement, the of dispute settlement. So the country, the country, and country, they can talk. We know what their problem, and their problem is impacting to our country. So the problem can be settled. So is there any delegate wanted to talk, guys? So in this unmoderated focus, actually, we can talk. Uh, what we want, so there is no need to uh, wait for the chair. So if you want to talk, just talk, guys. Okay, thank you, delegates of uh, Japan. And I have a question for all of the delegates uh, of the member state who agree with the uh, free trade agreement with the all member states without expression, without uh, expectation. Ex Exception. Exception. Okay. Exception. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Who who are the who agree with the uh, free trade agreement for all member uh, states without exception? So that uh, if uh, I if uh, Australia uh, export to the uh, Japan, that nothing a uh, tariff barrier. So. In the, I want to know, uh, Australia want to know what the position of each the member state in this uh, unmoderated caucus who agree with uh, free trade agreement without exception. 
for member uh, state. Okay, actually, Japan, you agree with with, the, with that? <laughs> yeah, actually, we don't of Japan. Uh, generally, we agree for the uh free trade agreement with any countries that have a uh, framework and have a bilateral framework with us. Okay, chair. Oh, okay, chair. Okay, chair. Sorry, the breakout room has opened. So if you want to use breakout room, you can go directly. Yes, yeah, so we want to go to breakout room. I'll stay in here. I think <laughs> we stay in here. We just stay in here, right? Because, <laughs> yeah, we, we're too lazy to move to the breakout room, actually. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so maybe we stay in here for for our first one more to the chair. So... Yeah, uh, actually, Japan itself, we agree with the Australia say that, yeah, we agree to any free trade agreement. We open to any free trade agreement because we don't have any pro protectionism policy to, in our country. So maybe uh, some delegates in here actually still have that protectionism. So maybe uh, we can discuss later about how we can uh, eliminate the protectionism. The extreme protectionism, I mean, so some country actually have some protectionism. Maybe we can admit that. Extreme protectionism. Okay, extreme protectionism. A little bit of Brazil. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so actually, the things the, the obstacles that show address for us in this trade so several countries they the one because the uncertainty because there is no certain things in in field so they cannot be able to make trade agreement without exception if for example the conflict etc etc it do not the one to be stopped so that's why we think that the uncertainty should be addressed and this one of the things that should be answered for our uh, resolution, we think. So that's all. Um, okay, thank you. Uh, beforehand, uh, thank you to the delegate of Brazil, Japan, and Australia. And yeah, according to the statement uh, which stated by the delegate of Brazil and uh, Japan, uh, we, uh, we already know that the main point of uh, our, uh, the, uh, the main point of the dispute settlement is dialogue. But uh, I have a question to the delegate of Brazil or yeah, Japan. Maybe would uh would you like to uh tell how uh, how is there any specific mechanism that maybe you can uh you can propose to uh yeah uh to the pro settlement uh to the dispute settlement process? Yeah, okay. Okay, maybe delegate of Brazil first. Okay, okay. So we also address again the dialogue and negotiation between main player of this trade agreement. So we think that that's the first key to be addressed if we would like to do some trade agreements without exception. So if we come to the same table or to the same forum to discuss and to address those obstacles and the solution, and we think that we can reach the agreements and we can reach the negotiation we can reach the level of dialogue if we came to the same forum and address this obstacle so we think we stand in our uh solution that we propose such as in dialogues or negotiation okay so thank you for the girl for your uh for opinion uh, so, uh, same with the delegate of Brazil. So, the delegate of Japan, we have some proposal to our council, the World Trade Organization. So, our our solution is called EDRI, Enhanced Dispute Resolution Initiative. So, this uh, this initiative is uh, we strengthen the dialogue, we strengthen the uh, the uh, yeah the dialogue. So, the WTO. Our council will be the facilitator of the dialogue. So the WTO uh, have uh, some mechanism to increasing resources, introducing a fast track resolution process for urgent cases, and providing training for member states. So uh, with this, uh, with this framework, with this initiative, so we hope that the uh, settle uh, the conflict in in some countries in the world can be arranged by the. World Trade Organization. Why? Because the World Trade Organization actually we uh maintaining the fair trade, we maintaining the 
uh, the free trade around the globe. So uh, if some country have embargo to another country, if some country have conflict trade with other country, have uh, some can have some conflict trade with other countries. So we hope that with this initiative, the EDR initiative, and hence this put resolution initiative, the WTO have some this uh, mechanism for this uh, dispute settlement. Maybe from delegates uh, from another country, do you want to talk, guys? It's, it's very okay. Maybe from uh, the delegate from the Western countries to uh, discuss and dialogue about this one. <laughs> Maybe Australia, how about this one? How about this sport settlement? Okay, I think uh, about the dispute settlement, I agree with Japan and with the Brazil, with the delegate of Brazil, with the delegate of Japan, that we have to uh, dialogue the first one. Um, we are the, the, the big player of the trade is such as uh, Japan, such as uh, Chinese, such, such as uh, America, United States of America, that have to dialogue, comprehensive dialogue between uh, between them. So maybe uh, we what? I don't, that's all. It's okay. That's okay, Australia. So maybe I wanna hear from the delegate of Vietnam. Vietnam some have some uh some speeches about their diplomacy. Surely they're is they good in this field. Thank, thank you for this. Next time I audible. Thank you for this chances for the member states of Vietnam. We really need to more understand. We really agree with Brazil, Japan, Russia, and Australia when we have this kind of partnership and we have the same view about it we can just solve the problem and then when we know what kind of problem and how can we solve it we just can just solve all the things happen so we need to have a memorandum of understanding or mou about that something like that um, maybe that's a response Okay, thank you, thank you, Delegate of Vietnam. So your solution is about the MOU from each country uh, to have some dispute settlement. So maybe the consul, the WTO, can be the facilitator and the negotiator from the two conflicted countries or more. Okay. So uh, that's about the dispute settlement and the global conflict, actually. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, we, Delegate of Japan, want to talk about that. Yeah, actually, uh, 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 from our speeches that we realize that we are on the same page that we are uh, we are uh, emphasizing and uh, have some positive uh, we have some positive impacts from the free trade agreement right so that's why we maybe for our next discussion in the next committee session we uh, talk about how about the mechanism for our free trade agreement how we can make this free trade agreement is more sustainable from more expanding to another country. How about the country that still have not free trade agreement with other country? Maybe we can talk about that later in the next committee session. Be chair for what the time uh has the yes, time so elapsed. The time had elapsed. Uh because the chair mentioned we have break in 525. Oh, the time is still ongoing, guys. Oh, okay. You still have four minutes. Use your time wisely. After this, we're going to have a break. Okay. So, uh, sorry. Okay, I would you. like I would like to ask ask to the Russian, the delegate of Russia, what your position of the free trade agreement. Okay. Uh, the position of Russian Federation. Uh, generally, Ru Russian Federation uh, are agree to the three uh pre trade agreements and yeah, but maybe uh for the Russian itself uh we have a sanction from the Western countries and uh so the the main point is not on Russia but on the Western countries how uh how we can the western countries uh not enforce not enforcing the sanction 
uh for the certain countries especially for uh for the targeting uh for the targeting countries so so that's 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 the point So uh, the Federation of Russia agree with the uh, return agreement, uh, but uh, you have some issue with the Western country, right? Yeah, actually, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we don't have any Western country in here, maybe. So maybe I didn't get to want to talk in this, uh, in this, in this one word talk, guys. Uh, we need to hear your voice. We need to we need to hear your challenges, your impact, your. Uh, anything about our resolution because yeah we talking about free trade agreement and yeah we agree that free trade agreement it have a very positive impact so that we have to expand it we have to more creative with it we have to in have innovation with this uh free trade agreement so any delegates want to talk with you, huh? okay so we think also the thing that should be addressed in this point is about the Mitigation, mitigation of the challenges that perhaps can go on after the after the dispute of settlements or after the negotiation, after the dialogue can be reached. So we think the mitigation of the challenges that will be going on after those negotiations can take by each member status of World Trade Organization. So in the MOU that will be signatured by each member state, we think that it should uh containing the mitigation of those challenges for example uh why if the the uh certain countries they don't want to make an export to the other countries in certain commodities for example so the mitigation of those challenges should be addressed in our perspective in this mou thank you I agree uh, with the delegate of Brazil that delegate of Brazil mentioned about the export to other country with some several uh, co uh co um, several goods only not not all uh, so they they say they have free trade agreement but they only uh, export and import some but not all so maybe uh, we can call it as the protectionism so maybe uh, we can discuss it much later in this com in the next committee session because our time has elapsed. Okay, thank you so much, delegates. Time has elapsed. And now we are going to have one and only motions to suspend the debate. So if you have any motions on the floor to, to suspend the debate, please raise your hand now. Diet of Brazil. The delegation of Federative Republic of Brazil would like to raise a motion in order to suspend the debate. Thank you very much. Under chair discussions, this motion passed. And congratulations, congratulations, everyone, to pass the first conversations. And now we will have to meet again at 5 past 45. We are going to have about 15 minutes breaks, 14 minutes, and see you in the next comedy sessions. Bye, delegates.